Um, okay. Let's go. How many Zeeks do we have? Oh, they're running. What the hell? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Oh. Why are they running? <laughs>
Whew, boy, I'll tell you what, this stuff takes a long time. Now, we are only two points away from mining tools and two points away from construction tools. Um, so those are a couple things we might consider putting some points into uh, if we get one more point. I really don't think in most cases that I would spend two points on an action skill, but I might spend one point just to get it to the next level so we can get the perk for it. Uh, but anyway, let's look at normal stuff here. So let's see, lockpicking is one that we were considering. And um, actually, hold on, let's go over to here. Uh, I wanted to do, oh, well, we already did Daring Adventure. Okay, let's put a point in Better Barter. I think that's gonna be a good idea. I don't think this this does anything with the trader. I think that's only multiplayer stuff as far as I know. Correct me if I'm wrong, you guys. Oh, we have an effective level five intellect, which means we could put the other two points in here. So what does Plunderer give us? Uh, get two additional choices and 5% more Dukes, okay? And then better barter, um, get 10% better deal buying and selling. Um, okay, both of those would be really damn good. We could also, uh, why can't we get this? Oh, because that requires level six, physician does. Okay, advanced engineering. Uh, this would allow us to make the cement mixer, which we could then start working on concrete for the horde base, which we really need to do. Uh, okay, let's keep that in mind. Let's go Let's go back to agility for a second. I was thinking about running gun. Um, not really too worried about from the shadows. This is going to let us shoot from the hip a little more accurately and move a little faster whilst we're reloading. If we go over to here, we have an effective level three in fortitude, which means we could take the next pain tolerance or the next healing factor or the next iron gut. Man, we got a lot of good choices here, you guys. A lot of good choices. Um, all right. Well, here's what I think I'm going to do. Perception is only level one. I would like to get lucky looter up to three or, or up to two which means we would need to get perception to three. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to go, we're actually going to go ahead and put another point in Daring Adventurer. And I think we're going to put another point in Advanced Engineering so we can get that cement mixer made and start getting into the concrete age uh, for horde base reasons more than anything else. All right, so we've got that done. What do we need to make a cement mixer? Let's take a look at that. Cement mixer. Okay, we're going to need iron, springs, engines, and mechanical parts, which we have all of. So, springs, engine, mechanical parts, and iron. Uh, oh, iron. Whoops. I'm getting a little click happy here. Iron is also in here. Okay, cool. So, we can get a cement mixer going. Let's keep one of those crafting up right now. I think we'll just start with one because I don't want to get too carried away here with well actually i mean we've got lots of resources maybe we will make two what the hell let's do it why not right let's make two i can easily get more engines by just going out and wrenching some cars by the way i can make the wrench now too if you guys didn't catch that in i think it was two episodes three episodes ago or whatever that we found that uh so you know i don't need to worry about conserve conserving wrenches any longer uh, and we and we have a full yellow fully repaired yellow wrench anyways Okay, so we're doing good, man. We are doing good. Let's go ahead and eat the rest of these eggs, and that'll get our food close to topped off. And that should hold us over, uh, probably at least for the rest of this episode. The rest of the stuff we're going to sell or take with us, and we got the cement mixers going, and I think we're in really good shape. Let's take a quick look at our quest situation. So we're still looking for uh, two car air filters and two beakers for that one. Bladed weapons, we, uh, we're on hold until we find another hunting knife. Crafting a table saw, we need the schematic for that. And composting, uh, we still we are still looking for two more coffee beans, believe it or not. I've got eight sitting in here. I haven't found any more since then. Okay, so uh, let's head on out. We're going to go talk to the trader first. It is getting kind of late, so more than likely wherever we go, hopefully we can get to an upper floor and secure it before nighttime starts so we don't have to worry so much about Zeekers coming after us uh, from the outside and then, you know, finish out the house. So we'll stop at the trader first, sell a few things, and then continue on. Oh, I'm going to take some quests from this guy now, too. We, you know, we took those points in um, Daring Adventure. We might as well start putting them to use. So what the idea is going to be moving forward is we do a trader quest as we continue to, to clear out the POIs. And if we get lucky, maybe one of the quests he gives us is the PO, a POI that we need to do. 
Okay, let's sell first. So we're going to just sell these straight up. Uh, what Sorry, do these require to repair? Come back soon. We restock oh, all those only stuff. require leather? Hell, I got lots of leather. That'll significantly increase the price of those. Let's go back and repair these. I was thinking they needed a repair kit, which I wasn't really willing to, you know, spend uh, a repair kit on that. But for leather, heck yeah. Okay, so right now this is worth 27 we repair it, and it's worth 74 Definitely, definitely worth one piece of leather. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm glad I looked at that before I just sold them. While we're back here, we might as well grab some beverage. Look at all that beautiful red tea. Oh, my goodness. All right, you know what? Um, are we done with the goldenrod? It's still working on that. Look at all the tea we're going to have. That's something I can take care of uh, after hours off camera. So let's just take a full stack of red teas with us and call it good. I want to kind of save the red teas more for mining and stuff, but um, we'll just take some with us for now since we have quite an abundance of it. Let's go back to the trader and get this stuff sold. What's the padded hood require? Yeah, see, that that requires some kind of a repair kit that I, I probably could make, but I don't want to spend any more time on it. So let's go. I should have looked at that while we were back at the base, but oh well. Same thing with this. Okay, that is everything we want to sell that brings us up to 2354 coin um this okay so he's got a pistol wait has he reset he must have reset i don't remember seeing this orange pistol in here we could we could get that uh we could obtain that um let's see what has he got in normal stuff i didn't i could have sworn i've checked his inventory um, you know, since he reset last time, a lot of that stuff is stuff I've sold to him. See, I thought this was a blue pistol that was in here. I'm a little confused, but that's okay. I mean, I would take an orange pistol for 3,800 coin. Uh, we would be able to repair it one, at least one. Yeah, probably just once. And, um, you know, we might be able to come across you come a better one. Time. All right, let's take a look at your jobs. Uh, we want... What, oh, man, all of these are far away, damn it. Okay, well, let's just take the one that's the closest. A dilemma, and, could you, well, and that looks right like it's a, a modded house. Okay, well, let's see. Where is that? Is that... How far away is that place? It's all the way up there. That's going to uncover some more territory for us if we wanted to go up and do that. Um, Let's see, and we are here. Yeah, what the hell? Let's go. Let's go do a little bit of extra exploration, and we'll do that quest. Man, look at this place. That's pretty cray. All right, let's check our thing here. I want to make this the active quest. And we'll go down this street. Oh my goodness, you're large. I think I remember seeing that Zombo on uh, Warriors UK. A working stiff. Okay, that's good to know. Very good to know. Chamois Foods. It's a big chamois foods. A desert! Oh man, I'm glad we came out here. That means oil, shale, and aloe, ladies and gentlemen. Oil, shale, and aloe. Wonderful! Wonderful! Okay. This is turning out to be a good day so far. Um, now, let's see. We've got to... I, I'm aware of the time. We've got to get the the bottom floor clear in this place. Um, or get up to the top floor before nighttime. So this is a clear quest. Oh, shit! Okay. So let's... Um, we have to stay in range here. We just got to be inside and on the upper floor before nightfall. 
And we're also hot, which is not good. I do have some cool weather stuff back at the base, but I had no idea we were going to be in the desert. Will you just die? I don't have time for this. Okay. Now, let's go in here. I think we're just going to do this because, you know, we don't have a lot of time. Okay, we got another Zombo there. This heat kind of sucks. Any Zombos in here? We got you. Oh man, I'm so stoked that we found a desert, guys. Okay, let's get um let's get these stairs out of here really quick. Oh, look at that. What are we wearing? Um let's get our luckies on. Make sure nobody's sneaking up behind us here. Give us a pistol, please. Okay, we'll take ammo. Give us something to eat. Uh, okay, that's something to eat. Okay. I think we are secure for tonight. Let's put um, that right there. And then we got to kill you. Yeah, I've got uh, some cool weather stuff uh, back at the base that we can equip. Oh, shit. Once we get here, you know. Okay. So, um, we can get up here, right? Yeah. Let's, um... Get this out here. Okay. Okay, Edgar's dead. I don't think we're supposed to go this way, but it's the way we're going. Here, let's um let's get this guy ready to go in case we need its help. Okay, let's get you guys bled up. stamina. Okay, you dead. Return to trader. Okay, we accomplished the quest. Now we can breathe a little bit easier here. I still hear a zombo, but that zombo is not part of the house. I did bring my lockpicks. Please tell me. Okay, I good. <laughs> I was going to say, damn it. I better have brought my lockpicks. Okay, now we can relax a little bit and loot the rest of the house uh, without worrying about it turning nighttime. And I'm not too worried about that, the zombo downstairs. So let's see what we can get out of this place. I'm very, very happy that we found the desert, though. Because gasoline now is not going to be an issue 
Not that it was. I mean, we were doing okay even without it, but still. Um, this just makes it even better. Okay, what's this do? Increase attack speed by 10%. I'll take it. Medium ammo pile. Give something good. Ah, oh, nice, a bandolier mod. I'll take it. That's going to help us reload faster. So put that right there on our chest piece. Okay, it's a good day. It's a damn good day, you guys. Let's get the rest of this loot here. Some bullets. Uh, here we go. All right, sellable. We got a little bit of cat food. Give me a mineral water. I need it for this heat. Oh, man, you son of a... Okay, I think that's it except for the safe. Pretty sure. Uh, no, we didn't get this purse. Nothing in there. Okay, so we are still safe, right? Pretty sure. Oh, is this a bookcase? Yeah, it is. Come on, give us a good schematic. We need a table saw schematic. I'll take that. I will take that. It's a beautiful thing. Nothing else in there. Did we check this? We didn't. Okay, we're going to... Um, actually, you know what we ought to do... We had to wear this stuff, at least temporarily. Because it's going to help keep us a little bit cooler. Okay, let's scrap that. This will sell. Okay, we're going to have to lighten up a little bit, because I, I need to be able to run back to the to the bike when we leave this place. So we'll scrap all that. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the moldy bread. I'm going to eat the tan, uh, the tan of Kuna. <laughs> the can of tuna. And let's see... Don't think we're going to... Yeah, let's scrap that. Because we already have this piece here. Where does that put us? Um, these we want to keep so we can wear them later. And uh, let's eat... Yeah, let's eat this now too. And scrap this. Okay, that gets us a little bit lighter. But if we have to, we'll probably chuck the jars. Maybe the cloth fragments... And potentially the nails, just because, you know, I got nails going on. All right. Time to try the safe. So we've got uh, 11 lockpicks. We do have luckies on. All right. Do we? Let me double check. We do. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Okay. Moment of truth. Give us something good. Oh. Okay, <laughs> we're getting a lot of good gun parts. The problem is we just don't know how to put any of them together. Well, we can put the hunting rifle together, but we haven't learned any of the other guns. Okay, well, all right. So we need to make it back to the bike, and we are too heavy to run. So we're going to get rid of those. Or we're going to get rid of those. We're going to get rid of those. Uh, I'm going to get rid of these because I already have a bunch of that stuff back at the base. And I still haven't figured out if they actually are useful for anything other than scrapping for paper. What is this? Primitive repair kit. Oh, yeah. Let's use that now because this thing is just about just about dead. And that knocks it down to the blue level, but that's okay. Okay. That gets us down to five things encumbered. Is there anything else I'm willing to part with? Probably these. Because we got some nasty Zeeks down there and we have got to get away from them. Uh, I don't think I'm willing to give up anything else. Okay, well, wish us luck here. Um, so we're just going to sprint out of here, get to the bike. Once we get to the bike, we'll be fine. All right, cool. Very good, very good. Oh, shit! <laughs> Oh, man, that guy's booking. Holy crap, I didn't know he was behind me. Okay, we got to lose this guy before we get into the trader.
Okay, let's stay on the bike for a second and make sure nothing else is coming. Okay, I think we're good. Let's stay crouched. Whew, that scared the bejeebus out of me. but doesn't actually know we're here. You've made my day. All right. Weighted head mod, magnums, or batter up. Bats and clubs degrade 20% slower. Which one's worth the most? That is worth the most. All right. Let's take that. We get 419 dukes. All right. And let's take a look at his inventory. We're going to sell this to him. I think that's all we're going to actually sell to him. Okay, so that gets us up to 2817. What do we need for this orange pistol? Uh, where is it? Right here. We need 3837. Yeah, we didn't get as much loot out of there as we could have because I didn't loot the whole place for obvious reasons. Um, so, okay. Well, here. Let's um let's take Thanks another job you. from him. So, okay, good. These are close by. So, oh, those are all buried supplies. Well, I mean, they're still worth doing, I guess. Because we'll get food and stuff and and money. So yeah, I mean, does I guess it doesn't really matter six of one huff, dozen the other. So we'll take that buried supplies. Thank you. I bet you wouldn't do this for just All right. anyone. Whereabouts is things. that at? It's just right here on the south end of town. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's go over that way. And if we can get over there without um, being aggroed then we might try it. Okay, let's get out of here because I don't want them to... Oh, shit. I don't want them to destroy this place. It's kind of nice being able to work the trader at nighttime, not having to wait till day, you know? Oh, not him again. Okay, so it's right here. Let's just sit on the bike for a second and see if anything's still pursuing us before we hop off. Okay, I'm going to move the bike over here. I think we're clear for the moment. Let's refuel this. Okay. We're going to have to go get some more uh, gas out of the gas pumps, I think. Uh, you know, either that or... Well, we're going to go to the desert tomorrow regardless, but I would like to have a little bit more gas in that, so we might hit the gas pumps too. All right, so let's see here. we got to be really super careful and quiet with this. So let's find our area. Okay, so it's going to be more kind of up this way. All right, I think we could start right about here. I hear a zombie fighting a wolf. We want to make sure we can get out of here if we get rushed. Like right now. Oh, shit. I just heard the footsteps. I didn't hear. You know, zombies usually growl and make noise. And I just heard footsteps coming at me really fast. <laughs> so let's see if we can round them up and pull them away from the area. Okay. I think we're clear. Again, the key to our survival is being able to get out of this hole like ASAP. If we hear any footsteps. Okay, well, at least it's morning now. Looks like uh, Ravenhurst maybe disabled the little thing that 
tells you you're getting closer to the treasure kind of thing. Which is fine with me. I always thought that was kind of defeated the whole purpose of trying to find it in the first place. So I do not have a problem with that. One of the examples of the fun pimps just dumbing down seven days to die. And uh, I don't like it. Okay, I hear footsteps. And they're getting closer, so let's not be stuck down in the hole here. Damn it! This guy's jank so much, man. Jank and juke. like you almost intentionally jogged, or dodged my first uh, hit there. All right, we can't get tagged now. Our health is super low. So we're going to have to do some ranged action here. Let's see if we can get one bleed on you without getting hit. Okay. There we go. Should have probably just done that in the first place and not taken a chance. And hit in her. Okay, everybody good? Everybody cool? We'll get some uh, clay and, and some worms out of this too. So the longer it takes, the uh, more profitable it will be for from that standpoint. Mining tools have increased. That should put us 19. Yeah, at 19. Awesome. Okay. There we go. Let's get a little closer to it here. Okay, so that's going to call Zeke's. Let's just shave this down a, a touch so we don't get caught up when we have to get out of here quickly. All right, we should be fine. Okay, do we have luckies on? Uh, no, we don't. Let's get our luckies on. I don't think it matters for this, though, but maybe it does. Food. Oh, look at that. Pumpkin cheesecake recipe. Oh, and a sham chowder. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's go. How many Zeeks do we have? Oh, they're running. What the hell? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh. oh. Why are they running? <laughs> that was... I was going to maybe try and take them on, but I didn't realize they were running. Oh my gosh, that was close, you guys. We just about bought the farm there. One more hit. Oh, they're still running. What? I wanted to get that bag. Oh. Look at these bastards, man. They are just booking it. Okay, let's go back and see if we can snag that yellow bag really quick. No, she's running too. No, don't hit me. <laughs> okay, this is not worth the risk. This is not worth the risk. Forget the yellow bag. Watch, it'll probably have like a purple pistol in it or something. <laughs> are they, why are they running? I don't understand. It's daytime. What the hell, man? Okay, well, again, yellow bag's not worth a, die, a, a death. We do not want to die. Dying sucks. In case you guys didn't know that, okay? That's the that's the uh, lesson of the day. Dying sucks. I want you to repeat that three times and not ever forget it. Whew. Oh, gosh. Okay, that was intense. Let's do our turn in. Attitude, friend. Uh, I will take 40 shotgun shells. Absolutely, we'll take those. Okay. And then, um, I don't think we have anything to sell him. That gets us up to, well, I left my money back at the base. Shoot. Be seen. Okay, you know what? I'm actually digging these buried supply quests. See what I did there? Uh, because of the fact that we're getting food from them, we're getting 
clay from them and worms from them, which we can turn into food. So I think I'm going to continue uh, doing these. But I think I'll cut the camera here and just show you guys the turn in from the other two buried quests. And then we'll wrap up this episode. friend whatever you need just say the word I'm in a little predicament it's rare to find honor in these dark times Hey, how'd you get in here? You're not allowed in here. What do we get? Alright, we'll take that. Alright guys, so let's do this last buried quest turn in. It's actually almost 1pm uh, on day 27. It took me a little longer to do all this. Amoxicillin automatic weapons. Cure infection 40%. Um, I mean, we've got normal antibiotics types of things. This will give us two action skill automatic weapons. We got lots of 7.62s already. Um, this is definitely worth the most. Yeah, let's just go ahead and take that. All right, now um, let's uh, take a look at the inventory here. So that gives us a total of 3666 and oh shit it's still not enough. Uh what if we sold this to him? I kind of don't want to sell that to him. Yeah, we'd have to come up with a couple more things to sell uh which we could probably do uh to get get uh to the pistol. 3837 is what we need to do. Will he buy these? Um That that's the sell price for the whole thing, right? Okay, hold on a sec. Yeah, that's for the whole thing. No, that's definitely not worth it. <clears throat> Even though I got, you know, plenty of, of clay. Sorry, okay, well, guys, I am, I'm I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. Go back to the base. Get ready for the desert. And then uh, we're going to leave for the desert on this same day. And get uh, go look for oil shell and aloe. I put my concrete mixers down off camera, and oh my goodness, this freaking mod makes making concrete so expensive. <laughs> I'll tell, in case you guys haven't seen it, I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's not um, it's not going to be uh, a quick and easy task like it is in vanilla, but why? You know, I'm not surprised, right? Uh, so basically, to make concrete mix, we need crushed sand, limestone, which I've only been able to find some very small amounts of, cement. And a murky water on top of all of that. So, oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to be doing concrete for this horde night. It ain't going to happen. Um, so we're going to, you know, have to continue to rely upon our cobblestone, which won't last very long. But uh, I'm basically planning on doing the same plan as last time, except for that I want to get the bars upgraded uh, to, to iron uh, because we could get spitters. So... Uh, it'd probably be a good idea for me to hang on to these two until later in the game. I've been consuming them, but um, I don't think I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna start hanging on to them unless um, you know we're in a situation where we need some points. Also, look at that—we have 111 worms. So uh, at some point, I'm gonna have to do a fishing session. Uh, we got a hobo stew. Let's take that now because we need uh, to do so for the food, and we picked up a decent amount of canned food. 
uh, for doing these buried treasure quests. But more, more, most importantly, in terms of food, we got a whole bunch of worms. So, you know, that's uh, that's just a ton of fish. It's the the only downside to that is it's just going to take me a long time to get that many fish. But <clears throat> again, that's probably where I'll uh, I'll do off camera, put Audible on, and uh, just listen to an audiobook while I do it, kind of thing. <laughs> okay. Anyway, let's put this in here and that in there, and I'm going to let you go here, and we'll start right back up here uh, in the next episode, and we're going to hit the desert, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, show the video. We'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.